So you've got your robot set up, it's time to create your first part. So I'll grab my device here. On the parts tab, I'm going to select that plus button in the bottom right corner of the screen. You're going to give the part a name. Hit next. Then you have two options. You can either choose some predefined weld settings or you can enter the settings manually. We'll use these settings. And there we go. I just created my first part. Now let's teach a linear weld. So on my device, I'm going to make sure that linear is highlighted. I can put the device down now. And now we'll be using these two buttons on our Hyrobotic Smart Puck to define where the robot's going to go to. So I'll use this top button here to move the robot around once I click the button. And then the bottom button saves off your point. So for our linear weld, we're going to go to the start of the linear weld and click the blue button. And then we're going to go to the end of the linear weld and click the blue button. And as we go, you'll notice that points populate here in the app. So let's get started. So I'm going to move it into position by holding that green button. And then when it's at the start of my linear weld, I'll select the blue button. And then I click it again, bring it over to the second point, and click the blue button again. And so now we just created our first linear weld. So now that we've created a linear weld, we're going to save it, and we're going to create a new playlist with this part. And now on our operator box, we can hit play. Let's create a radial weld. So the first thing I'll do in my app, I'm going to highlight radial weld. And now I'm going to grab the puck using these two buttons here. And similar to a linear weld, except we need a minimum of three points around our circle here. So I'll do one at the beginning by clicking the blue button. I'll do one at the middle, click the blue button again, and then I'll do one at the end of my radius here. So now I've got three points. I'm going to hit save on my device here. Move the robot out of the way, and then let's hit play. Let's set up some tack welds. So I grab my device here, I highlight tack weld, and then I grab the puck, use my two buttons again, hold the green one down to get it into position. And then when it's where I want it, I click the blue button. So I just created one tack weld here, let's do a few more. Utilizing the green button to move it and the blue button to save off the point. All right. I'm going to save this off and then let's hit play. set up a stitch weld. So I'm going to grab my device, highlight linear stitch weld, and then grab our puck here and select two points. So you don't need to select the start and the end of each stitch. You select the start and the end of the entire length that you'd like to be stitched. So I'm going to select one point here and then one point over here. Then I'll hit save. And then in the app, you're gonna select that first point that you created. 
and you're going to be able to tell it the number of stitches as well as the stitch length. So if I want four stitches and each one to be two inches long, I hit save and then let's hit play. Nice feature of the Hirebotics Cobot Welder is that we actually build in approach points and depart points for you. But if there are instances where you're going to collide with a part or a clamp or a fixture, you can add air moves to go around that before you start welding. So let's set up some air moves. So I select that second icon there. It says teach air moves and we're gonna teach these the same way we would any of those other weld points we taught. So let's grab the puck here, that green button, and then we're gonna come straight up first to go around an obstruction. And I'll click that blue button. You can add as many of these in a row as you want. So I'll, I'll do three before we go down to the part here. And then let's set up that first linear weld. All right, and then we'll hit save, and then hit play. And so before it goes to do that linear weld, you're gonna see it do that sequence of air moves to avoid the obstruction. Let's create a playlist. So you've created a few parts, and now you wanna run them. If you just wanna run one part at a time, you select the part that you'd like to run, I'm going to click on part A and I'm going to create a new playlist with this part. And so now when we go and look at our playlist screen, that second tab there, you'll see that part A is on the playlist. But maybe we we'll want to run multiple parts back to back. I can go back to my part screen and I can select part C, add to existing playlist, and I can select part B and add to existing playlist. And now when we look at our playlist, you see our three parts, A, then C, then B. And so now I'll hit play, and the first part it'll run is part A. And now, without going back to the app, we can hit play again, and it's going to run the second part in our playlist. And then we'll hit play a third time and it'll play the third part in the playlist. So you can have one part in your playlist, you can have a hundred parts in your playlist. Let's talk about your operator box. So this box allows your operators to use this without necessarily having app access. So they've got their e-stop, their play and pause button, their stop button, their operator input button, and their arc on or off key. Now let's incorporate all the weld moves that we've learned so far. So let's start with the linear weld. Again, utilizing my two buttons here. Gonna click the start point and the end point. And now we're gonna go right into a radial weld. So I'm going to highlight radial weld and then grab the puck again and do a few points around this turn. Okay, so now I've created a linear weld right into a radial weld. Let's add an air move. So I'm going to select air move. We'll bring the robot up out of the way and then we'll bring it over the part. Now let's add a couple attack welds. So I'm just gonna go back to teach weld points there and highlight tack weld. So we'll do one on each corner.
Okay. Let's add another air move up over the part. And then let's add a stitch weld. So I go back to teach weld points, select a linear stitch there. Okay, let's hit save. And then let's create a new playlist with this part. So you've created your part, but now you want to edit it. So let's adjust that first point. I'm going to select 1A. I'm going to tell the robot to move to that location by selecting the move here icon and then holding my blue button. So that's the original point we taught, but if we needed to tweak the torch angle or how far it was away from the point, or anything else about it, we can hit this touch up icon. And then that allows us to reteach that point. So I'm gonna tweak the torch angle and then click my blue button again. So the position of that first point is now adjusted. But in the screen, what we can also do are change weld settings or weld processes. So I can click on any of these values. Let's click on wire feed speed, for example. And I can drop that to 500. I can select the travel speed. I can even tell it to weave just by toggling the weave to the on position. Let's hit save. And now next time I hit play for that first weld, it's gonna incorporate those new values. I'll stop it there. Some other things you can do, if you hit the wand icon in the top right of the screen, you can use these little plus icons to insert another weld move or move sequence or anything else you'd like to add. So let's add a move sequence in between B and C just by hitting that icon. And we'll just have the robot come up in the air here. And so now I've added an air move in between my first linear weld and then my next radial weld. Let's talk about shifting and patterning. So first let's set up our original part here. Going to create a linear weld first, a radial weld second, and then another linear weld at the end here. I'll hit save. And so now what we want to do is utilize that same weld process, but on a different location on the table. And you have two options. You can either shift it, which would be moving those points over here, or you can pattern them such that you'll have your points over here as well as your points over here. So I'm going to select all these points that I want to pattern. I'm going to hit the shift icon and then all we need to do now is select a new origin point. So I'm gonna select the start of that first linear weld. Hit the blue button, hit apply, and then hit pattern points. 
it's going to prompt me to put an air move in the middle of those points as well. So let's put an air move in the middle here. And now I'm all done. So let's hit play. You'll see it do that first part that we programmed. And then it'll go to our air move. And now it'll do the second part. So I only had to program one part and then I can pattern them to as many different locations on the system as I want. Let's have a look at your data. So this is a cloud connected product, which means that you're streaming data in real time that you have access anywhere that you have your phone or your device on you. All you need to do to look at it is simply hit the home screen and all your charts populate there for you. You can create your own custom graphs and track whatever you want from cycle time to parts per minute, parts per hour, to how much gas and wire you've consumed. Let's talk about support. We have support built right into the app, the same app where you'll be doing the programming and all the weld setting adjustments. You can get live support. So I'm gonna slide to the left, going to click on support. So there are two things you can do in here. One is we have a bunch of articles and videos that are all searchable right here in the app. For example, I could type in linear weld, click the one that comes up at the top of the list there, and it's a video of one of the guys on our team showing you how to set up a linear weld. If you can't find what you need there in that library, you simply hit send us a message and you get an engineer within two minutes. It could be a software related question. One of our software guys can hop in there and help you out. It could be a welding related question. One of our weld process guys can hop in there and help you out.